In the mid-60s, NASA engineers worked to perfect the Saturn V rocket, a 363-foot-tall machine which weighed 8 million pounds. But before the U.S. could get a man to the moon, they had to first get a rocket to the launch pad. The rocket would be housed in the Vehicle Assembly Building, or VAB, 3.5 miles from the closest launch pad. NASA considered several methods for moving it, including a rail line, a canal and barge, and a crawler transporter. NASA wanted to go with the crawler system. The question was, could it be built? NASA turned to the only companies who could do the job. NASA commissioned Bucyrus to design a transporter. And Bucyrus produced all of the drawings for the transporter. And at the end of that effort, NASA being a government agency, put the construction of the transporter out on bids. Marion had a lower bid and got the order. Marion won this round and started manufacturing two identical crawler transporters. In 1965, assembly began at Kennedy Space Center. Road testing soon followed. Each transporter was 131 feet long and 114 feet wide, having roughly the surface area of a baseball diamond. It rode on eight giant crawler tracks, 10 feet high and 41 feet long. Each track had 57 shoes, weighing 2,000 pounds apiece. In June 1967, the transporter first rumbled into service, carrying on its back a Saturn V rocket for the unmanned Apollo 4 flight. In the next 10 years, the crawlers racked up more than 1,200 miles. After the Apollo program, the crawlers continued serving their country. After a few modifications, the same two crawlers shuttle the shuttle today. We bring the crawler transporter over to the VAB. Uh, when we get the OK to enter, we drive in under the mobile launch platform. Once we're under there in, in line mutt, then we lift the entire assembly up off its mounts, about 18 inches high. Okay, we're lifting 12 million pounds at this point. The crawler, powered by two 2,750 horsepower diesel engines, moves the shuttle to the pad at the blazing speed of just under one mile per hour. The two crawler transporters are only two in the world. And without them, you don't have a space program. <laughs> 